All right, so we've mixed the colours already. Got them all here. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the rigmarole of telling you how I mix them all up. They're all slightly different. I mix up the actual colour together with uh, a conditioner, a paint conditioner, and then a certain amount of water. And that's where the secret comes in is to you want it so that it's not too thick, not too thin, depending on what you want to do with it. So there we are. Those are the colours. These are going to mainly make up the body of the planet Asteria itself. And then we have the... Um, the fabric uh, canvas that we've got here if you notice on the back there are these large pins that are knocked into it these are there for a purpose and you'll find out what all that is in a minute but there's one missing in oh two missing ingredients good gracious I'm forgetting here we go look at that don't tell me mom i've pinched the cake tin so that's what we're going to be using to make the actual planet can you see in there but there is one other vital piece of equipment and here it is um i needed a very small um hairdryer that has um just a cold blow on it as well and also a nozzle you'll see again in a minute why it's so important so we're all ready all ready to go i'll get the camera set up and uh, hopefully it'll all work so here we are look <laughs> i'll tell you what i might be putting gloves on i still get paint everywhere but we'll have a go let's put this on here oh yep so madam if you just like to lie back and uh, oh sorry up Ooh. i'm not there anymore no I've given up my work as a gynecologist okay let's start off remember this thing yeah this is go this is the, like the top bit of a cake maker right Okay, first thing we want to do is I've got all my colours here. We want to just pour some of the colours in there. Once we've done that, then I'm going to, as carefully as I can, use our little hairdryer to blow it around. This is the planet I'm making first. We'll worry about the rest of it in a second. All right, so what sort of colours do I want on this? Well, I like little splashes of yellow. I think yellow is a lovely colour. Look. So let's just do this. Look. Whoop. Maybe a few drops and up here. Uh, where else? What about a little bit just here? Ah, nice. Okay, what else do we want in there? I tell you what, I like pink. Oh, pink is so nice. So we're going to go up here and around there. That pink will blend with the yellow a little bit. Um, let's come around this bit here and up here. Okay, that's probably enough pink. What else do I want on there? Oh. What about a phosphorescent light blue, like a turquoise? I think that can be quite a nice colour. So again, we're going to go here. And I'm going to come in between those up here. A little bit maybe along this bit here. Uh, a few drips here and up and around there. That's fine. OK, can you see this isn't uh, painting by numbers, as I said before to people. This is creating it as it happens it could go horribly wrong and it has been in the past there's been times when it has all gone horribly wrong um whatever happens it's always nice to have a little bit of um white in there um so we'll put some here ah uh, yeah quite like that little gap here we'll put some white in there and around not too much that's enough um what else oh what about a bit of um fluorescent green Oh, go on then. Why not? Since you mention it. Oh, a bit of green here. Just here, look. And there. Um, what about this little bit here, look? Because we're going to be blowing it in a circular movement, okay? I'm aiming to sort of go that way around. So it's got a bit of a swirl to it. So these hopefully will move as we do it. I need a bit of purple. That helps to um, sort of match in uh, with the pink there. I'll put some on the outside, look here. And a bit just here, look. I don't want a lot, just then they can all blend in uh, together. Uh, how are we doing? I think we're doing okay. Oh, oh. Well, what happens when you get pink? You can get a bit of red too. So we'll put a bit of red in here. Again, I don't want too much. Uh, let's just put a bit along this leading edge here because we're going to be blowing this in a minute um i want a little bit just here look okay yeah what about a bit more yellow 
see this top edge here i want to touch more maybe just come off this edge here a few drips a little bit of the blue here look in that middle bit here uh, and also along this leading edge just there all right enough enough there comes a point where you have to say enough It's beginning to show there, but I think we need to be a bit more powerful. Okay, coming along. Yeah. I like that. I like this little shape in the middle here. It looks quite cool, man. Cool. Maybe just a touch more white here, look. I know. Maybe being a bit finicky here. That's better. There is something else you can do. You can get a straw. Gives it a little bit more mm, control sometimes. For all of you who are not artists, there is a term given to this type of blowing with a straw. It's called giving the painting a blow job. Now we want to get some of this lovely, it's a dark sort of blue that um, I want to um, go around the edge. Can you notice how when I'm Concentrate and I don't talk. What? It's better. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. We want to scrape this edges off here because I'm going to put a little bit of white on here. You, you see, this will all happen as we do it. We put some little bits of white here and up here and up here. I want to scrape it off. Doesn't that sound weird, doesn't it? After I've put all that on there, I want to scrape it off. Uh, the reason for this, you'll see in a second. Can you see now why I'm using a box here? This can get everywhere. And then I'm going to use my fingers to grab some of this colour and wipe it on the edge here. Look. So there's our little planet. Isn't that nice? That's our planet. Put some of this blue black around. There's a reason we've got these other colours and the scrapings on this. It'll all look quite good when we finish. And I want to put some blue on this as well. And then some drips of white. Why? Well, you see, I'm, when I, once I get my um, hairdryer on it, we're going to blow this off. And then hopefully it will give it a nice shape. Before I go any further, we want to just get any air bubbles out of that. And the way to do that is to use this little gadget here. So. I've made this paint here. The paint in here is actually a little bit thicker than the rest. Because I want it to give it some sort of a 3D effect. Also, some of the paint is uh, phosphorescent paint. So that it will glow at night. <laughs> I love these shapes here. So, um, right, just mix up a little bit more of the blue. You can see I've just dribbled it around the edges here. Now we need to just blow that through here. Some of these colors, this, these light colors will come up. So we've got a planet. We've got these nebulas and all oh, the lovely colorful things here. Let's just, before we go any further, Get rid of all these like little bubbles of which they all start appearing. We need some stars, don't we? So let's get me, let me get a brush. We want to dip it in the white and then either we're going to knock it on my finger or we may spray it. Let's just try this first. Because I want some bigger, this is going to be the ones for the bigger drops. 
because these stars are actually a bit nearer, aren't they? Okay. And then we can do the old finger spray. These are for the, all the smaller stars. Can you see this? So because everything's going this way, we want to turn it this way, first of all. Oh, see that? And then we want to lift it up. Whoop. Take it off. Okay. So this is called Asteria. It's called, uh, translates as the jewel. Here is, is the emporium for making all the fairies' magical wings, all shapes, all sizes, because there's all different sizes of fairies. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Bye for now.